I'm on my way to the grocery store. Oh man, and my back is still hurting. This is the longest I think I've ever had this back pain like this. Um, basically, one night when I was back when we had to go back for my aunt's funeral, I, the bed that they have is horrible. It's a pillow top mattress. I hate. I repeat that. I hate pillow top mattresses. They're too soft. They don't like support your back or anything. So basically it's like, I think my back just like kind of like slumped like that all night or something. And oh God, does it hurt? So it's like getting in and out of my truck. I have a big F-150 and uh, it's got like 32 inch tires on it. So getting in and out, you have to step up. Getting in, no big deal. Stepping down. Oh, gosh, it hurts so bad. And I don't know what I did. And I think it's really just sleeping on that bed. It's pretty much when it started. But anyways, go in the grocery store. And we are going to, but we, I say we, man, me. <laughs> Um, basically we've been gone for so long we really haven't uh, we've had so much stuff going on in the past few weeks I haven't been uh, to the grocery store much basically I've been stopping getting what I'm going to eat for like a day or two and then going back in the two days and that just I don't like I want to actually um, make it I don't have to go to the grocery store but maybe once every week or two weeks I can't do that because Adrian goes through milk so quick. I have to go at least once a week, buy two gallons. He goes through two pretty quickly. I have to go back. It's not him, just him. It's me also. I drink a lot of coffee. And my wife says I make Jethro sized bowls of cereal. Not sure who Jethro is, but I'm assuming that it is somebody who makes very large cereal bowls. But, um,. So yeah, milk, go through lots. But it is Memorial Day. It is a holiday. There's a lot of people at the park. It's a park up over here. And I'm actually very happy that it's uh, this extra day has been very helpful to help me recover and everything from everything. Like it's my boss sent me an email last weekend. He told me he was, you're driving over 100 miles to get where you are, so you qualify for seven days bereavement time. And I'm like, wow, that's actually really cool. That's very generous for a company to give you that. And I haven't been working there but, but since um, December. So, but I was like, no. I, last Friday I went back to work and I sent him an email. I said, I really can't. And just sitting at home on things that wouldn't help me anymore. And it really wasn't. The base got to just sit at home. And... So I went to work Friday and uh, got some stuff done, not a lot. A lot of it was just catching up on email and trying to get everything done. But now that I am, I got to get back into the full swing of things. So tomorrow, is probably going to be server. <laughs> it's been sitting there far too long. I should have already had that thing put up or put in, but that should be tomorrow. Putting that in the rack, getting everything connected, and um, just trying to make it work. But anyways, I want to get off here. I need to um, drive. My brain is. I'm really tired. I still have been sleeping very good. It's probably another reason why my back hurts so much. But anyways, also I know another thing that's gonna help with this hurting is Adrian likes me to pick him up a lot. And where he's really small and you're kind of picking up a 30 pound weight constantly. Yeah, it can hurt a little bit. But anyways, I'll talk to Bray later.